Hi, I'm Joy from Special Fork. I love making soups, but sometimes I find a lot of recipes really time consuming. Today we're going to be making a Mexican meatball soup called bondigas. And to get started, let's turn on our stove. Just to about medium high. And we can add in our olive oil. Just make sure the pan is evenly coated. And we can add in our minced garlic. You want to make sure that the garlic doesn't burn, so having your stove on medium heat makes just kind of keeps that. So once this is cooking, we can add in our chopped onions. And you want to just cook the onions until they're translucent. So once that cooks down a little bit, we can add in our potatoes and carrots. We're using potatoes and carrots today, but you can use celery, beans, or anything else that you might like. Go ahead and add in your carrots and your potatoes. Do you want to just get a good caramelized cooking on the um, on your vegetables? It also brings out the sweetness once you caramelize it. And it also helps to reduce the cooking time once the liquids go in. So having your vegetables cut into small pieces and letting it kind of caramelize first will speed up the cooking process. So now that we've cooked down the potatoes and carrots a little bit, we can add our liquids. And you want to be extra careful when you add in your liquids. Make sure not to burn yourself because it's really hot and the steam will just kind of rise up. Like that. So we're adding beef broth to the pan. And we're going to finish it with some tomato sauce. And this will just thicken it all together. So once you add everything in there, just give it a good stir. And we can just put the lid on for about 10, 15 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get started on our meatballs. So for our meatballs, we're going to be using ground beef today. And to the bowl, we'll be adding some minced onion. We also have some raw rice, and you can use short grain or long grain for the recipe. We also have some chopped mint, fresh mint, dried oregano, salt, and one raw egg. The raw egg will bind everything together once we mix it. So we can just mix it with our hands. You want to make sure everything's evenly blended. So we have a good mixture here now. We can go ahead and make the meatballs. You don't want to make them too big because you want to get a really good quick cooking on them for our soup. So something a little bit smaller than a golf ball is good. This might be a good size. 
And we want to just go ahead and make all of our meatballs before we put them in our soup. And for this serving, we can probably make about 16 meatballs. So now we've finished up our last meatball, and we can go ahead and drop it into our soup. So these will take about 10 to 15 minutes in the soup at um, low heat with a lid on. And once we're done, the soup will be ready to go. So our soup is now ready for serving and we can go ahead and ladle some into the bowl. And for a full meal, about four to five meatballs is good. And you want to make sure your carrots and potatoes are fork tender. And we'll just top it off with some fresh cilantro and a squeeze of lime. And that's it. For more recipes and ideas on your smartphone, visit specialfork.com.